Having heard a powerful word read and proclaimed, let us stand and say what it is we believe, this morning using the Apostles' Creed. Christians, what do we believe? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. This morning, before we enter our time of prayer, I ask you to keep in your hearts the family of Dolores Diener, who died earlier this month. Friends, won't you join your hearts with mine in prayer? Holy and merciful God, the journey of Lent comes to us as a gift that we experience together in this place. Help us to listen for the call to slow down, to quiet the voices that vie for our attention so that we may be still and enjoy a deep communion with your spirit. We are so used to being on that we have lost sight of our need for rest, for renewal, and especially for you. We thank you for the spiritual discipline of Lent as we lay aside our calendars and to-do lists and focus instead on your blessings and gifts. We acknowledge the work of your grace in our lives and the reality that it is anything but cheap Thank you for the invitation to examine our hearts and our lives, to take stock of our relationships, our loves, and our fears. Grant us courage to name the idols that hold sway over us, that put us in the shadows. Loving Savior, we give thanks that you are our companion during times that we experience the emptiness of loss. We pray that your abiding peace would surround the family of Dolores Diener as they continue to mourn her death. And with that, we pray for all those who suffer in mind, body, or spirit. Grant them your peace. O oh God, help us to remember that emptiness in our life simply means that we are the ones Jesus rose for and that we're ready to receive all that your, our Redeemer has to give. We wait expectantly, but patiently, for you to speak and to make yourself known to us in new and surprising ways. To this we commit ourselves this day and join our voices together as we pray the prayer, pray the prayer Jesus taught us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now acknowledging that all we have is a gift from God, let us give of our offerings and our tithes this morning that they may be used to support the mission and ministry of this congregation. <laughs> 